New break. That's time to start this bottom half of the third inning. And so it begins with Cotter of it. Cheering out there. Definitely a good student crowd. You'll have to see it. Hopefully they're all vaccinated. Again, they hang out with each other a lot. There's a ball thrown by Jed Harris. Harris getting ready. And now the stretch. Here's your 1 0. 2 0 at side to Connor Oviat. Our first baseman for the game made some good plays out there. So Nathan Meikle, who's on deck, particularly the one that ended the top of the third. Here it is. And this one's going to be a ball. 3 0. Speaking of Nathan, of course, we previously mentioned him, him being on deck. And you know, he'll probably be up perhaps with one on, no one out. 3-0, don't go. You know Connor's going to do that. But keep in mind, they had a 3-0 and eventually struck out. Strike one, 3-1. Is that going to be an out? Hopefully not. Hopefully Connor has something cooking for the good guys. Beautiful day, beautiful weather, the pitch. Ball four, take your base. Connor Oviat draws a walk. Speak of draw to walk, it's Nathan Meikle. He, no, that was not... Cotter Oviat, that's actually Cotter Oviat. That was Jimmy DeJong that drew a walk. Nathan Meekle is up now. I repeat, Jimmy DeJong is up. Haven't seen the center fielder senior too much this year. I knew Connor was up soon. That's what confused me. Ball one outside or upstairs. Jimmy, a good base threat or base running threat. Expect him to take off like an airplane. 1-0, Jimmy DeJong does not go. That's a ball, gun down, he's safe. Jed Harris having some issues out there throwing, but he already has one double play today, and he'd love to get here against Connor, but with Jimmy and Connor up, won't be the easiest task in the world. They're worried about Jimmy. Is Jimmy going to take off? No. There's a strike for you, makes it 2-1, where there is nobody out, and the score is... Oh, not it up at one. Here we go. He's set. Well, not yet, but still. Third inning, tie game at one. Probably still nervous about Jimmy. Probably will throw something fast here. That's what I'd expect if I were Connor. Up, he steps off for a moment. Yeah, he's super paranoid. Incredibly paranoid. He doesn't go. That's upstairs. Throw down first. Can't get him. Nathan on deck. 3-1. Nobody out. Here we go. He set the 3-1. Strike and again. The catcher Schreiber is just... Jumping up from his knees. He just wants to get Jimmy. There's Nathan on the right of the screen. Now towards the center. Payoff pitch is fouled back. So it'll be the seventh pitch of the at-bat. Jimmy had a running start. There's the left fielder Hamilton. And Steingrass the center fielder. Three balls, two strikes, zero out, one on, tie game. Another stop. Man, oh man, definitely something to see out here. And he steps off again, and Jed Harris knows Jimmy is there. And Jimmy is just rent free. Payoff is a ball, take your base. The runners are rent free. Way deep they are not living or they are not in Granger right now. They are in Jed Harris's head. Will he be able to get him out of his hat? It depends. Here now it's Nathan Meikle. Jimmy at second. Connor at first. No one out. Do we attempt a double steal here? No. There's one belted. 
Deep in the center field, but that's going to be caught by Steingrass. One out. Logan Marquis with a single today. Try to do anything but a ground ball. That was well hit. Thought maybe that could be trouble, but nope, not even close towards the fence. Here we go, two on, one out, the pitch. Strike one, over one. Nothing, one, one out, guess that's a mini student section. Wish I could get everyone there, but no, 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 no. That's finally COVID. Bouncer down the third baseline, fielded by Stanley, but it's foul, makes it. Nothing in two, and again we see Hamilton at Stygrass playing shallow. Hamilton, you just saw it back up a little bit. Nothing in two, one out. That's a ball, and the runners will not be going. Good block, makes it one and two. Beautiful weather, beautiful ball game. Well, I'm asking with people out there, but I pray, I'm praying that they're all vaccinated like myself. And that's going to get away and break up the double play. Makes it 2-2. Two, two. Jimmy down third. Cutter over the down a second. Gets that dugout hype. But the question is, will we be able to bring them in? Ethan on deck, it's 2-2, two, two, one out. Another pass ball, Jimmy coming home, he's safe. Free real estate inside Jed Harris's head. In Jed's head. 2-1, and the third run for the game for the Hornets. It's Connor, he is waiting patiently at third base. 1-0-2, now 3-2. Payoff. And he misses, again. That's his third walk issue today. Here comes Ethan Smith. Harris talking. Can you talk from Whoopsie Schreiber? How about that, Dad? How about me as I flip my camera right round? Tommy Maroon here. And we'll see. Is he out of the game, folks? I think he might. They're going to knock him out of the box. I was going to talk to you about something. No, they'll knock him out of the box. There will be a new pitcher for the Bobcats. Oh, there's a mini student section. Yep, the other half as well. Hello, guys. Hunter Wheeland. Sorry, I forgot. Hunter Wheeland pitching. There is a strike on one. I need to get back. Oh, Mr. Ronaldo's told me all the way out there. He has said that numerous times during the 2021 high school baseball season. Don't know if you can tell what's going on as this one is a ball run going down a second. Out. Logan caught stealing. The count is one and one. And now rather than runners at the quarters, there's a runner at third, and two out. Hunter Wayland, number four, try to get Ethan. Wayland's pitch. Head in the air, out to right, down the line, and that's going to go foul. Nice hustle right there by Bits K. Couldn't get it, it's one, two. Two out. Cut it at third. He is set. 
takes the pitch. And Ethan got to stay alive by follow that one back. Of course, seven seniors, if you saw in the senior day video, all of them are playing today. One, two. Here it is. That hit of take your base. We've seen three walks. I, no, I think a base hit. Not a walk. No, walk, walk. Runners advancing. And a walk. Or no, a hit batter. Excuse me. So we've had three base runners. None of them have reached via a hit. And Carter Oviat tried to bring home Cotter. That's a ball. We've seen a lot of wild pitchers out here during the high school baseball season. Can we see another that would bring home? Got a three walks, one hit batter. Holds up 2-0. And it looks like Leland also missing. Hunter Wheeland try to get the out. 2-0. He guns it in. 2-1. And he counted 11, 14 people out there in a mini student section. Seeing a few more students out there as well. 2-2. Two -two. I have no clue if Ethan's going to try to take off for second. 2-2, two, two, two out. And two on. And we have two runs. But Norway has one. Two two pitch. There's a ground ball foul down the first baseline. Picked up by Hanzik. Jay Hanzik. First base coach right there. Coach Grissom right there. Two balls. Two strikes. And another ball. Brandon Lipchak would be next. Now you know Ethan's going to have a jump start. It filled in. Steingrass at center. Hamilton at left. Payoff. Ball four. Take your base. Fourth walk surrendered by the Bobcats in this inning alone. Things just aren't looking so bright for them now. Bases just two out. Brandon Lipchak. Watches strike one. Carter Oviat at third. Ethan Smith at second. Carter Oviat at first. Seventh bat of the inning. This one's hit in a deep right center field by caught. By Steingrass. Steingrass is leading off for Norwine. We wave a mud hit, but we reclaim the lead 2 to 1. 